Hello YouTube, welcome to today's Doctor Who video. Today I'll be looking at a bunch of different Doctor Who products which you might consider buying someone for Christmas. So, to start off with, here is the Collector's Limited Edition 11th Doctor Big Chief Studios figure. That was a mouthful. Anyway, here's the box, and I really like the design of the box. I don't know why, it just looks very stunning. That was a weird thing to say, wasn't it? Anyway, opening it up, and here we can see the figure out of its initial packaging. It does come with a very nice cartoony backdrop of the TARDIS. So, here is the figure, and yes, it does look really good. It comes with a separate swappable head and a display base. I'll try not to knock it over, but yeah, I might, hopefully not. So, here is the base, and it's simple to put the figure on, just plop him on and, well, the base is magnetic, so yeah. So, here's the figure and his swappable head. I prefer the figure with his fez on, as you can see here. But to swap them around, you simply pull off one and replace it with the other. That sounds really weird. So, here is the figure without the fez. And yeah, I'd certainly consider buying this for any Doctor Who Matt Smith fan. On to the next product, which is a Dalek 2-pack. I'm not quite sure where, where the design of these Daleks came from. I think it might be the comic book, which you can see on the back of the box. Anyway, opening them up, and here they are. Red and gold. But they're in the classic series sort of style. So, not from 2005 onwards, but before that. Anyway, on the red figure, you can see that weird little symbol on his head. No idea why. If anyone knows, would you like to tell me in the comments? But they have the classic normal Dalek articulation with the spinny weird plunger thingy majiggies and the head spin. Anyway, next product is a B&M Bargains Doctor Who Monsters figure collector's set. These are from the 5.5 inch scale range of figures, whereas those Daleks we just saw were from the 3.75 inch. Anyway, opening them up, here we can see the Ice Warrior, Cyberman and a Zygon. My favourite out of this set is probably the Zygon, but we'll take a look at the Ice Warrior first. Here he is in all his warrior-ish glory. No idea what I'm saying, I just don't. Anyway, on the overall figure we can see very good detailing. I sound so weird, sorry about that. But yeah, typical articulation from the 5.5 inch figures, and I believe this set is from the Tom Baker era, but I'm not 100% sure. Looking at the Zygon, straight off you can see a weird silvery grey thing in one of his suckers, probably. But it's, I'm not sure why that's there, but it is. And yet again it has great detail. On the Cyberman here, you can see same old, same old classic series Cyberman, which I think I've reviewed twice before, I'm not sure, but yeah. So overall this is a very good set. Now, here's a Missy figure, which is £20, whereas the last set was only 15 for three figures, but I have to say these Missy figures are very good. Here is the box of one of them, and this is the 5.5 inch collector series again. So here are the two Missy figures out of the box. I like both of them, but I have to say the purple one is probably my favourite. There were the accessories that it comes with, and you can switch around the heads, just like the last figure. Just pop them off and place them on. Sounds so weird. Anyway, I think these are both very good figures, just like everything here. So thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.